Okay. Put it on the bench. Emma Probert has recycled her soft plastics for years, proud to make a small difference. It's something that has become more important to me as a mum because um, I think of the legacy for our children. But now the scheme is on hold. The program exploded in popularity during COVID. We went from one and a half million pieces returned every day to over five million pieces returned. And now there's a lack of businesses to take the waste. Red Cycle's biggest customer, which repurposes plastics for roads, has been out of action since June when its building burnt down. Our factory fire didn't help matters based on the volumes of material that we were taking, so um, it's very, very unfortunate. While demand for other products made using the plastics, like furniture, is down. That's where the bottleneck is, this lack of markets to buy it back. Some things are hard to avoid, so you end up buying them in plastic. With no alternative plastic recycling schemes, environmental groups say the solution is to reduce plastic packaging in the first place. What we need to see now is greater industry commitment to getting rid of some of these problematic plastics. The big supermarkets didn't respond to that today, but Cole says it and its competitors are looking at a more sustainable recycling model. That solution will not be a quick fix either. Red Cycle hopes it will be able to start resending soft plastics to its partners from mid next year. But until then at least, all of these are going to have to go in the bin. I don't blame Red Cycle. Um, I see this as being a much bigger systemic issue that the government, big businesses and individuals need to lean into to look for larger solutions. For Emma, that means consuming less and buying products like this edging, made from recycled plastics. Jessica Longbottom, ABC News.